Hello and welcome. Please pause the video, read the problem, and try it on your own. You'll be surprised what you can do. Alright, let's read this problem together. They want us to order the numbers from uh, smallest to largest. And you might notice right away, and this could be a little scary, right? We got uh, these negative exponents here. Oh my gosh, right, what do we do? Well, here these numbers are actually positive numbers. This means 3 times uh, 1 over 10 to the 4th, and 3.1 times 1 over 10 to the 3rd, and 9 times 1 over 10 squared. In other words, uh, these negative exponents just refer to division. So we've got these positive numbers, and we're just dividing them over and over again, which means we really have positive numbers. You might remember that negative exponents refer to division. All right, so if, that's, if that hasn't convinced you, what you might do to make sense of this problem is just write these in standard form. All right, we don't have negative numbers here. We have positive numbers. So in the first one, this means 3 times 1 over 10 to the 4th, or you can think of it as taking 3 and dividing it by 10 4 times. Right? So you've got 3, and you divide it by 10 4 times. So our decimal is going to move over to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4 times here. And in the space in between, we'll have these three zeros. So right, this is equivalent, of course, to 3 times 1 over 10 to the 4th. And that is the same thing as dividing 3 by 10 4 times. And in the next one, we've got 3.1 right, times 10 to the negative third. So here, we are dividing 3.1 right, by 10 3 times. So 1, start here, 1, 2, 3 times ends up here. Which gives us 2 zero, so it's point zero zero three one. And then lastly, we have 9 times 10 to the negative 2. And again, start with 9. Over decimal over to the right left, excuse me, twice. Who's divided by 10 twice? Boom. So 0 0.09. Now you want to line up the place value. So you can rewrite this, or you, in other words, you want to line up those decimal points to make sense of these numbers so we can compare them. So I'll just shift that over. Looks a little bit better. I should have planned ahead and done that, but here we are. Boom. Over there. Right? Alright, so we've got these three numbers, you line up the decimal points. You might see right away what the largest and what the smallest is. The largest number here, of course, is 0 0.09. This is the largest. If you remember the way uh, decimals work, the further and further you go, right, uh, the, the more and more zeros you add before you have non-zero digits, the smaller the number is. So 0 0.09, you might remember that zero is in the tenths place, tenths, and then this is the hundredths place. This is nine hundredths, right? And over here in this number, the tenths and hundredths have nothing in them. It starts in the next place, which is the thousandths place. So it goes tens, hundreds, thousands, it keeps multiplying by tens. This one here, that's in the ten thousandths place. It's a tiny, tiny fraction, ten thousandths. Imagine taking one hole and cutting to ten thousand small pieces. That's what this is right here. Now we line up our decimal places, and this three is also in the ten thousandths place. Oops, I wrote tenths, sorry. Ten thousandths, zero, zero, th, I'm writing ths, ten thousandths place. So the largest number is nine times ten to the negative second. So that's a go to go here. Nine times ten to the negative second. Then what's going to happen? Well, here we have three one thousandths, right? And each of those one thousandths are ten times larger than ten thousandths, right? Imagine taking a single piece of something and break it into a thousand pieces. This is what three of them look like right here. And then you take a single piece and break it into ten thousand pieces. This is three of those ten thousand pieces. It's way smaller. So in the middle, then, of course, we have uh, three times 10 to the negative third, and we'll give you a shortcut at the end if you don't like this technique. And then finally, uh, 3 times 10, to, excuse me, 3.1. And then finally, 3 times 10 to the negative fourth. All right, so what's the shortcut here? What can we do? Well, let's approach it from two ways. I knew right away that 9 times 10 to the negative second was the largest number because, um, first of all, it's being divided by 10 the least amount of times. In other words, it's only two divisions of 10, right, from 9. Okay, so we take something and divide it by 10 twice, we get a small number, but I know if we divide here by three times, by three tens, we have to get a smaller result. Right? It doesn't even matter what's in the front because this front number, this first factor, it's got to be between 1 and 10. So divide it by 10, something smaller than 10, by 10 three times is going to give you a smaller result than dividing another number, uh, which is also between 1 and 10, including 1, uh, by, 
by 10 two times. And then likewise, this is the smallest number because you're dividing it by 10 four times. Those four divisions get a really small number. Now, if you don't like that explanation, uh, another way of thinking about it is to follow the basic rule for comparing positive numbers in scientific notation. Now, positive numbers, I know we see these negative exponents here, but remember they're all positive. Uh, the simple rule is this. The larger the exponent, um, the larger the value. Right? Negative 2, if you, if you write, compare that, negative 2 is larger than negative 3. So that number is larger, 9 times 10 to the negative second. Then, negative 3 is larger than negative 4. So the, the exponent of negative 3 will be larger than the number with the exponent of negative 4. And here, by, when we compare the exponents to find out what the largest is, um, think of a number line. The numbers most to the right, towards the positive side, are largest. If 0 is here, you've got negative 2, negative 3, and then negative 4. So negative 2 is the largest, then negative 3, then negative 4. Right? So by largest exponents, we mean most positive. Uh, if you had to, if you have two numbers with the same um, exponents, let's say you have 9, let's compare it down here really quick, 9 times 10 to the negative second versus 9.1 times 10 to the negative second. Well, 9.1 times 10 to the negative second has to be larger because even though the exponents are equal, right, the first factor, 9.1, is larger than 9. So as soon as you've compared the exponents, uh, if you have two equal exponents, then compare those first factors. All right, thanks.